question five. So part A, what was the longest time that Alison spent revising in one day? So which of these is the biggest? Well, Tuesday she worked the longest. She did two hours, 30 minutes. We need to give her our answer in minutes. So two hours is two lots of 60, which is 120, plus the 30, 150 minutes. What is the range of time that Alison spent revising? Well, range is biggest, take away, smallest. So the longest time was the two hour, 30 minutes. Um, the smallest time was 45 minutes, so we're taking one away from the other. 2 hours 30 minutes take away 45 minutes. Well, 30 minutes takes us back to 2 hours. We need to take away another 15 minutes, so 1 hour 45 minutes. Part C, what is the median amount of time that Alison spent revising? Well, median is the middle one. So let's put them in order of the length of amount of time. Well, that was the shortest, 45 minutes. 1 hour 20 was second, 1 hour 43rd, 2 hours 15 fourth, 2 hours 35th. So we've got five things here, five days she revised. So we want the middle one, we want the third one. The third one was 1 hour 40 minutes. Right, part D. What is the mean amount of time that Alison spent revising? Well, remember the the median, the mean is the meanest one to work out. It's the hardest one to work out. You've got to add them all up and divide by the number of numbers. So we've got to add up all the time spent. So we first of all, I've started off by converting them all into minutes. So one hour and twenty minutes is eighty minutes. Two hours thirty minutes is one hundred and fifty minutes. Obviously, 45 minutes is 45 minutes. One hour, 40 minutes is 100 minutes. And two hours, 15 minutes is 135 minutes. So these one, two, three, four, five have to be added up together. Again, there's no shortcut. Just put them in nice column forms. Be very careful to have them all above each other. Work your way from right to left. So five and five is 10, so not carry one. Eight and five and four and three and the carried one is 21. So one carry the two and then one, two, three, four, five. So 510 minutes. So that's the total amount of time. But to work out the mean amount, you then divide this by the number of days she's revised. So one, two, three, four, five. So 510 needs to be divided by five. So I've done that at the bus, bus stop method. Remember, you work your way left to right here. So how many fives go into five? That's one. How many fives go into one? You can't do it. Zero, carry the one. And how many fives go into ten? That's two. So 102 minutes. And then converting that back into hours and minutes. 102 minutes is one hour, 60 minutes, plus 42 minutes left over.